What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to reduce lag as well as get better ping in FPS. It's fairly simple. Uh, this is for console only. So if you guys are on Xbox, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, etc. All the way through. Um, these are the best binds for you. I'll be doing a PC release in my next video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Um, it's very, very simple for this. Um, you guys will go into your settings if you're on PS4. You're going to go over here, and we're just going to start off with the video graphics. Now, a lot of people think, you know, have your colorblind mode all the way up. Yours, you're going to want to have it at zero. Reason being is because when your game's trying to pick up on everything, it makes it completely different. Now, if you absolutely need it, you know, try to set it at the lowest setting possible. Um, try to, you know, don't use it if you can. Um, it really, really will impact it because it makes your game try to run a lot faster, trying to use a lot more graphics and everything like that. So make sure you guys just, you know, try to keep it off, keep your color mind, blind mode off. Your brightness, I have that all the way up. Reason being is because I'm blind. I can't see. I do wear glasses. So I do have to utilize that. Now, motion blur, you're going to want this off. It will make your game work 10 times harder and it just it's not usable i see no use for it unless you guys are like trying to do um content and stuff like that where you want the motion blur or you have a high enough um monitor that runs like 180 fps or hertz or something stuff like that um moving on we're gonna go the user interface parallax um, as it says, some menus like the item shop may have parallax effects. Disable this et setting for those effects to remain static. I have this off. Reason being is when you're using this, it makes your game, again, run 10 times faster. You don't want to utilize it. If you turn this off, you're going to see that your ping will drop down 5. So if you're running 30, you're going to run into 25 ping and get no higher. Now, show FPS. This is optional. This doesn't actually impact your game at all. I do have this off just for the reason of I feel like it helps me uh, run a smoother gameplay and have better ping and um, performance. Um, Report performance stats. I have this disabled because there's no use for it. I am a content creator for YouTube. This is only on when I do work for Epic, when I'm doing recordings of videos or fixing in-game glitches. So there's really no use for that. Now, if you guys go back, you guys can see that my um, level is 263. Reason being is because my gameplay is so smooth that it's easier to see. I also do play a lot of ranked reload as you guys can see. I've only played three games this season. You know, I'm only diving one which I need to get better. But it's about that one. I'm gonna go back into your settings. You're gonna go over to the game UI. Now you're gonna want your um, damage numbers to be cumulative because if you're turning this on um, a lot of people don't realize that it's going to take a lot of time to uh, for your game to catch up and catch that you guys are actually shooting and it's going to make your game work 10 times harder now damage numbers of scales you guys are going to want to have that at 80 percent because it's just going to help a 10 times better and then you're going to go down to your hud scale i would not recommend anything over 80 percent reason being because the bigger they are hides a lot of stuff on screen and it just makes it more difficult to see what you're shooting at and it limits the amount of motion that you can use in the game now all these other stuff, the quick bar, target info, pick up loot stream, these are all optional. Um, that debug stats, I'm gonna have, if you want to, you guys can turn that off. It doesn't affect your performance or anything in the game. You're gonna go ahead and move on down to your um, settings here. Now, if you guys are like me, um, a lot of people, I don't use um, advanced settings. I could never get the hang of it. I just did not want to learn it. I don't know why that's so low. I'll turn that back up. Um, you guys are just not gonna wanna have advanced settings on it doesn't really help the gameplay all too much it does give you better aim assist if you're on controller um i personally don't use aim assist um i go into my advanced settings and it's off i don't use it now left stick dead zone these will really impact how your gameplay works trying to move forward and left and right anything above like 10 i found gives you stick drift it makes it difficult to track and it makes it just near impossible to hit your shots um, moving on, you guys, if you don't have a foot controller, turn this on and set your stuff to one, the lowest setting that it will possibly go. Reason being is because when you're doing this, it helps with your lag and your input. Just helps the gameplay overall as well. And then you guys are just going to move on. You guys are going to go over here and you guys are just going to go ahead and do the auto import friends. A lot of people, you don't have to, you can turn that off. I have it on just because I have a lot of people that like to play with me. Public game stats, make sure that's on. It does help cross-platform play. Fortnite doesn't really give you an option to turn that off. 
um, even though it says that you can, um, it doesn't put you in a lobby that says otherwise. Show season live event feed, you're going to want to turn that off. Reason being is because it's going to help you with uh, better input and latency lag, um, and it's just going to help your gameplay overall. Without further ado, that's it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope this helped. If you guys made it this far in the video, make sure to uh, type the number three into the comments for the giveaway on the 30th. Have a good one, guys.